Ahoy hoy, I'm Plant Walk, and recently I made a video in which I talked about trans issues. And there was something that I got wrong in that video. Now, depending on your point of view, you may see this as a minor error, or you may see it as something that I should have corrected immediately after the video went out. Either way, I want to take some time to correct this error and then talk a little bit about why it was so hard to find evidence that I was wrong. Alright, so first things first, what did I say that was wrong? Here is the clip. Gavin Newsom, psychopath Gavin Newsom, wants California to become a gender sanctuary state so that kids in other states can move there to have their genitals and boobs cut off. Take a look. Kids aren't having their genitals and boobs cut off. Stop saying that. Alright, so that statement that I made there is actually incorrect. As it turns out, there are some children that that does happen to. And when someone hears that, their first reaction will understandably be, well that's horrible then and shouldn't happen to any child. I myself take the view that gender affirming surgery should probably be left until they're 18 for the most part. I also think that it's a really good idea that before you do any surgeries, you start with hormones for a decent amount of time so that you can get used to them. So this obviously raises the question, why is it possible for children to get gender affirming surgery? And the answer is a little bit more nuanced than you might think because a lot of people do tend to take the it's either all good or it's all bad approach. So when it comes to gender dysphoria, gender dysphoria can get quite bad for some people. Like imagine not liking your gender so much that you just really needed to get rid of bits of your body that were causing you psychological distress. Well, the obvious solution there is to just get rid of those bits of your body that are causing you psychological distress, right? However, a lot of people that this happens to are under the age of 18, and society has kind of decided that if you're under the age of 18, then you don't actually have the capacity to make an informed decision. But as I mentioned earlier, well, gender dysphoria can get quite bad for some people. If someone under the age of 18 has some really debilitating gender dysphoria, they may need gender affirming surgeries. And at that point, it's not the cosmetic change that people try to make it out to be. It's a surgery that is no less important than other surgeries that are done for medical reasons. So now when we view it from that angle, and we apply it to children with extreme gender dysphoria, the question actually flips from, can the child consent, to, is it okay to stop the child from getting this medical procedure? And if I'm being honest, the answer that I'd have to go with is, for the most part, no. It is not okay to stop a child from getting a medical procedure that would drastically improve their quality of life. And this is where a lot of people will angrily go to the comments and go, I can't believe you think that it's okay for children to get their genitals mutilated. And I haven't finished yet. Let me finish. So first things first, I do not think that any child should be able to get this, and I've actually been quite consistent when it comes to gender affirming care for youth. I've always said that for children, before starting them on gender affirming medical care, that they should have a diagnosis of gender dysphoria before you do that. This reduces the chances that later in life they're going to end up regretting it, because obviously we don't want people that transition and then regret that transition. Using gender dysphoria as a qualifier for transgender youth is a good way to try and prevent that from happening, as imperfect as it may be. I say as imperfect as that may be because gender euphoria is another side of the same coin, and some people may have gender euphoria, but not gender dysphoria. Obviously, transgender youth with gender euphoria and not gender dysphoria would be barred from accessing gender-affirming medical care for youth. And there is a conversation about whether that is okay or not, but we can't have that conversation until we agree that people with gender dysphoria do need gender-affirming care. Alright, so I went on a bit of a tangent there, but my point is not any transgender youth should be able to get sex reassignment surgery. You should require extreme gender dysphoria to the point where you need this. And that is the way that it is. You can't just go ahead and get surgeries as a transgender youth. You need extreme gender dysphoria in order to do so. But the second thing is, is that when we say that children are getting this, I feel like it's somewhat misleading. Because quite often it is said that children are managing to access gender affirming medical care. What we mean by this is between the ages of 13 
and 18, generally. When it comes to surgery, well, I haven't heard any stories of anyone below the age of 16 getting any gender-affirming surgeries. However, when someone says that children are getting surgeries, the imagery that that evokes tends to be someone younger than the age of 16. At least, that's what it is for me. That's why when someone says, oh, children are getting surgeries, my immediate thought is, well, that's just straight out wrong, because in my mind, technically 16 can be a child, but I don't think of 16-year-olds when I think children. That is why I think that youth is a far better and far more accurate term to use. But people don't use that, or at least people that are trying to push a certain viewpoint don't use that, do they? And I think therein lies the problem, because despite what some people may tell you, there are people that want to have an honest conversation about this. But there are a lot of people that don't want to have that conversation. And those people tend to be people that say that they want to have a conversation, but only ever actually talk about the outrage. If all you ever talk about is how bad pronouns are, or how disgusting it is that they're doing this to children, then that is not a sign that you want to have an honest conversation. Instead, it feels like you're trying to drum up outrage for an audience that enjoys that kind of stuff. And I don't have anything against drumming up outrage about something that you're passionate about, as long as that your outrage isn't based on misleading statements. When you say misleading statements and do not correct yourself, especially if you've been called out on it, you do not get to say, I just want an honest conversation, because you are not having an honest conversation if you continuously say misleading statements. I do want to have an honest conversation about these things, and that is why I made this video, because I got something incorrect. I am still going to poke fun at people like Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson, whatever, when they say something like, kids are getting their dick chopped off, because that doesn't feel like a statement that isn't meant to invite discussion. Instead, it's a statement meant to get people up in arms against trans people. And that made it very difficult for me to verify that I was wrong about what I was saying, because I was just wanting to know, do sex reassignment surgeries happen on anyone under 18? is very hard to find examples. Because when you search for it, you get a lot of people saying that it happens and they're outraged about it, but no actual examples of where the law either allows for that or where children are actually getting this. That makes it very difficult to have a proper discussion about it because their outrage seems unfounded and invented, even though there might be a small nugget of truth to it. But now that I've found that small nugget of truth, let's discuss it. Obviously, let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you don't necessarily think that I'm wrong when I say that children aren't getting surgeries. Or maybe you think that when people say that kids are getting surgeries, that that's not a misleading statement somehow. Let me know in the comments. I'm happy for people to have these discussions as long as they're being respectful. You could also join my Discord if you want to have these discussions as well. But anyway, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, Thank you for watching.